Welcome back, guys. It's Shadow Master here with another Dragon Ball Legends video. So, in today's video, um, Dragon Ball Legends dropped this um, little tweet and it says, New character info announcement. Part two of the Saga from the Movies campaign starts soon. And to that end, some big character info will be revealed tomorrow at 14 UTC on our official social media. So, um, we're basically going to break down what potential characters it could be. And then I and then also just for some more time and just to make the video a little bit more spicy, we will break down three potential Zenkai's. Um, this might come out while I'm still in school. Either this is gonna come out while I'm still while I'm still in school, or it's gonna come out probably before I go to school. Any other way, if it comes out before I go to school, I would definitely be saying should you guys be summoning before I go to school. But anyway, so. I think first we can start off with potential Zenkai. So, obviously, it's going to be some songs from the movies, Zenkai. But I do want to break down four potential Zenkai, actually. Not not three, but four. So, so as we go here, I think the first potential Zenkai, I think the first potential Zenkai would be this Bojack. Um, well, this Bojack is pretty good. He um he has an attack up against Super Saiyans, and not only that man, but this guy actually has an awakened art, which literally we haven't seen a uh, do. We haven't seen him have an awakened art for a long time. I haven't seen a character with an awakened art for a long time. So honestly, this is pretty good. And if he is a Zenkai, not only would he be very useful. He'll also be pretty broken, which is actually, he, not only will he be very broken, but he could actually be a very fun unit to use as a Zenkai. So, you Zenkai him, and we, we'll be good. We don't have to wait for some any other Tacos from the Movies campaign to Zenkai him. This is like the best time to Zenkai him, in my opinion. Next, we have this Rev um, Revival Gohan. This dude just... Not only does he pretty much need a Zenkai, he deserves one. Of of the fact that powerful opponents is definitely taking over kind of the taking over the whole almost the whole game right now. And the fact that him um that and the fact that he had to type off against powerful opponent, if you use this guy against Omega Shenron, not only with this guy not only would this guy pretty much just be, you know, a freaking um, Omega Shenron killer, but this guy literally can revive, and on top of that, this guy is super fun to use. You know, obviously, when he's his regular Super Saiyan state, he really doesn't do anything to be honest. But in here, like, he actually, but when he transforms, he does a lot of stuff, so I think he deserves a Zenkai. But to be honest, the fact that I do not want another broken Gohan in this game, um, but yeah, and then for the last one, which Ben deserves a Zenkai. Go Gito Boo. They did specifically say that we're not going to be getting Zenkai's from Z. So I'm guessing it's going to be super. A lot of people have been asking for this Zenkai for free for dawn year. Oh, since like last year, Legends Festival. This guy needs a Zenkai. This guy deserves a Zenkai. Of Purple Units kind of running the game. He'll be very useful in that case. And he does give debt. And he does have damage buffs against like Powerful Opponent too. So, if he gets a Zenkai, man, I think we're all good. But, yeah, I think that's it. And then for the fourth one, which is actually isn't Sokka's from the movies, in my opinion, which I've really been wanting to get a Zenkai. M-U-Y Goku. This guy fell off very, very bad. The guy deserves a Zenkai. He came out basically two years ago. So, yeah, I really think he deserves a Zenkai. If not even a Zenkai, like... Not even a Zenkai. Give him like a unique equip or something. Just, I'll take that. I'll take that though. But now we can move on to potential LFs for this guy. So, uh, no, not for this guy. I want to break down some potential LFs we can get. And this can also just not be LF characters. This can also just be an Ultra and a Mega Rising Banner guy. So. Like I said, if whatever we get, I will be recording my reaction tomorrow, guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, so the first character, as you can see, it has a bit of purple and it has a bit of orange. Now, 
this can either be referred as one character that transforms, or this will be referred as a tag unit. Because first, it looks like it has enough space to be a tag unit. And to be honest, as you can see, if we go to a red tag unit, 17 and 18, for example, it's like multiple colors because you will have enough to fit two tag like two characters like and then not even that but like evo kid this is literally enough to fit two characters because of the glow behind them it's like two darn characters and then i not only that but this goku and vegeta looks like it could fit two characters i don't know the my point is this looks big enough to fit two characters so it'll be a tag unit most likely. Now who will that tag unit be? Since we're in the saga for the movie Z campaign, here's what I'm thinking of. I'm gonna put Piccolo on Piccolo. Mm. Alright, so Yeah, so this is what I'm thinking of. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not thinking it's going to be Goku and Piccolo from the Freezer Saga. But I do think it's going to be Goku and Piccolo from the Garlic Jr. Saga. Um, Even if we don't get them, Garlic Jr. will also be a good one. But a lot of people want something from Garlic Jr. Let's just be honest here. But this is actually pretty good. Now, how the heck does Purple and Orange hint Piccolo and Goku? Well, look at their geese. Orange obviously hints Goku. It's been his geese since he was pretty much seen. Um, Piccolo, you his geese also have been purple. So, we're not. Well, yeah, definitely. Like, every single picture you see of Piccolo here has all. He had purple ore. So, I mean, purple geese. So. This can actually be hinting as a tag Goku and Piccolo, in my opinion. Not only that, but they hinted him. They hinted them before, and it turned out to just be a tag Goku and Krillin. I mean, tag Gohan and Krillin, with the DLF being a Super Saiyan Goku, which is fine, but still, you could have dropped something that was way, way he better. Um, no, another thing I'm thinking is LF, LF Kohler. Basically, I don't want to say another LF cooler. I mean, it's fine. I just don't want to think say another LF cooler, but either a transforming cooler, or it could be some sort of tag unit, which would be like a games like like a games original tag unit or a revival unit. Which like if cooler dies or loses or something, he turns he goes into metal form, or it's a metal cooler and then he goes into metal metal um core metal cooler so they can do that and it's also purple with a little bit of reddish and a little bit of white and then not only that i think another one would be turles turles it's been so long since he's got a darn um lf and to be honest i don't know if purple fit actually yes it, purple fits up perfectly oh uh, so we got purple, and then we also, that's pretty much it. Purple just is in the whole picture anyway. Now, another thing that people are basically saying is Janimbo, which, I mean, I have no problems with Janimbo whatsoever, even though I probably wouldn't even summon because, well, yeah, I wouldn't summon. But I'm not going to lie, it could actually be Janimbo. His skin is kind of orange. Don't I mean he his skin is kind of orange. Go ahead and say that it's red, but it looks more orange than red. At least that's what I can see. Um, what else? The purple, which matches the darn. His whole color scheme is literally purple and red. I mean purple and orange. So this could actually be a good possibility. Pop, but what says better than Goku and Piccolo? To be honest with you, yes. This might this actually be a better option than Goku and Piccolo, because. One, why would we get one? Goku and Piccolo is is worth way more than to be a Mega Rising Banner character. Janemba is fine, but he already got an OSHA, and either he gets an LF 
or he just becomes a 1% sparking in the Mega Rising Banner, which, again, if it's a Mega Rising Banner, I don't think no matter who the character is, no one summoning. Um, and also that, but we're on this grind for Legends Festival, so stay tuned. Um, so, so far, I think we only have two possibilities at our best. T- three, yeah, two possibilities. Goku and Piccolo and Janimba. Now, which one will it be most? As I said, as I said in this picture, this looks like it's going to be a tag unit. Like, it's going to be a tag unit. So, like I said, there's also this one tab where it was orange and purple, and it showed Goku and Frieza. At least I think so, but it... But this one, if, if it looks like a tag unit, Goku with Piccolo does have the higher possibilities. Although, we do have to realize that Goku with Piccolo is worth an LF. And, and on top of that, we also have to realize that if they are worth an LF, we're not getting another LF because we just got one not too long ago. I mean, there's possibilities we could get another LF that can hit us to the Ultra. But we haven't gone one campaign, as I think so, with with two lfs like i don't think we had a single campaign with two lfs unless i'm probably mistaken two lfs and then an ultra i'm trying to think the path of the pony campaign it was one lf in an ultra the uh the uh the uh, the sand saga campaign had a mega rising banner then an lf the gt campaign had two lfs um the saga moves campaign had an lf then an ultra uh, the Monster Boosted campaign had an LF, then an Ultra. The Free Soccer campaign had a Mega Rising banner, and then an LF. So I think it's gonna be LF Mega Rising. I think it's gonna be LF Mega Rising banner, and then Ultra, because one I, I, Ultras they Ultras should be dropping more frequently. On top of that. LF, on top of that, they usually drop the Ultras at the end of the campaign just to end off the celebration perfect. And then they also drop the Mega Rising Banner in the middle just to bait you right before the Ultra. So, which is not really a good bait. So, yes, in my opinion, I think that actually Janimba might have the higher possibility. He's he's good enough for an LF, but he's not worth more than an LF to go to a Piccolo. If he was an LF, though, he will still be super good. He, I bet you he will still be good, and I bet you he'll still be hype. If he's a Mega Rising better, it makes sense because Janemba is a hype character, but he's not so hype to the point where he deserves an Ultra. And then, um, and then, um, yeah, so, yeah, guys, so those are my possibilities. If I do want to say something else, if an ultra, if some sort of Ultra gets a plat again, I'm saying it's Super Gogeta. Talk us for the movies campaign, Z. There's nobody else that has a saga from the movie Z besides Broly and Super Gogeta. Maybe I'm missing somebody else, which if I am, I, I, mean, I will check. But yeah, guys, so um, that's the end of the video. If you guys, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys, and peace.